In this video, I'll explain how to create a list of vectors using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this tutorial, I will show you an example, and this example is based on the three vector objects that we can create with lines 2 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that three vector objects are appearing. So the first vector is called vec1, the second vector is called vec2, and the third vector is called vec3. Now if we want to store all of these vectors in a list object, then we can apply the list function as you can see in line 6 of the code. And within the list function we need to specify the names of all vector objects that we want to store in our list object. So in this case we have created the three vector objects vec1, vec2 and vec3 and for that reason we need to specify the names of these vectors within the list function. Between the names of these vector objects we need to specify a comma to tell the list function that we want to create a new list element. And then we are storing the output of the list function in a new data object and we can do that by using the arrow operator as you can see in the middle of the code and on the left side of this operator we specify the name of the list object that we want to create. So in this case our list should be called my list. So if you run line 6 of the code you can see that a new list object is appearing at the top right which is called my list. And we can print this list to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 7 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a list object with three list elements. And each of these list elements contains a vector. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.